Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions. Let's play guys today. I'm gonna listen to all of your guys' comments and you guys all said that you wanted me to do an, a tutorial on this uh, this farm right here. So I'm gonna do a uh, fly just to give you guys an idea. And uh, what you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on was this automatic flower sorting chest. And as you guys can see, it is a little bit broken. It doesn't work 100% perfectly because the rate of the stuff going into the farm is actually really, really large, which makes it so that um, a lot of the stuff basically goes into this little area first. But as you guys can see, for the most part, all of the iron ingots are ending up in these chests and all the flowers are ending up in the chest over here. So I did add a little bit of a mechanism off of camera, guys, and I'm going to show you guys right before we hop into a creative world really quickly what exactly I added. And um, I've made an automatic flower dispenser or an automatic flower uh, breaker. I can't really show it because it's underneath here, like the lava. I'll show you guys in the actual tutorial itself. But yeah, you guys wanted to watch that tutorial on exactly how to uh, make this... Uh, farm so we're gonna go ahead and do that um we'll be right back i'm gonna go ahead and head on over into a creative world and then we'll begin with the tutorial all right guys we are back and this is a single player creative world where i test built this little prototype right here and this is exactly what i'm going to teach you guys to build so if you guys want to take a quick overview it looks very very simple and the reason why it's simple is because it is and this is probably the most commonly used item sorter and you guys can basically change just to exactly how you want it to happen how you want it to work out but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I built in my factions home so how we're gonna start out is you guys are gonna need a redstone torch you guys are gonna need trap chest and normal chest you're gonna need a redstone comparator redstone uh, redstone repeaters a building block of some type and then you're gonna need a transparent block such as a glass block So something like this. I'm pretty sure that's all you need. Also, you're gonna need uh, Hoppers all right, so there we go That's basically all the items you need I think and then we're gonna go ahead and start with this build So the first thing that you're gonna want to do if you want this farm to work perfectly You want the chest to be facing in the west direction So if you guys can see there that farm would probably not hundred percent work because it is not facing in the west direction so here's the west direction use your f3 guys and you want your chest system to be facing in that direction right there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our chests in that order kind of like what we had in um, in our f home so this is exactly what we're gonna do just uh, we're just gonna make a quick three wide or a three high chest area you guys can make this as big as you want as tall as you want but for simplicity for simplicity's sake we're gonna make this only three uh, three tall and then uh, six blocks across or seven blocks across excuse me so here's our initial chest area if you guys can not imagine so if you guys are facing into the chest area you guys are facing east if you guys are looking out from the chest area you're facing west this will ensure that your farm works perfectly so make sure you guys keep that in mind because if you don't there can be some troubles that does arise when this situation happens now what you're gonna want to do on the back of your farm so this is the front let's mark this out so this is the front of our farm right so on the back side you're gonna take a bunch of hoppers and you're gonna place them into each chest like so so now what this does is when an item gets uh, dropped into this top filter or in, into this top hopper whatever you guys want to call it it will uh, get funneled into the lowest possible chest with an open room and just continue on up until all of the chests are filled very very simple that is how you guys will do this little portion obviously this can go up exponentially however high you want your chest uh, to be but for the meantime this is all we're gonna do now next step you guys are gonna take a chest and you're gonna place it right above the hopper and you're gonna make it into a double chest like so so you're gonna repeat this with all of your little spots that you guys do have and uh, it's very very simple very nice and quick and easy not nothing too expensive to build so this is how your farm looks so far so this will once again this is the front of your farm and this is going to be the back where all the redstone mechanisms are going to happen and take place. Now, once again, like before, you're going to take a hopper and you're going to place it once again into these chests like so. Alright, so now after that step, you're going to take your transparent block 
and you're gonna go to the not to the one right closest to this chest area but the one right closest to this hopper area that we just placed and you're gonna place a transparent block right above these chests it doesn't matter what transparent block you guys can choose any transparent block you want now in the next step you guys are going to want to build four blocks well it really depends on how tall your farm is but this is going to be four blocks tall and you're going to build right one below this uh this hopper system right here so if you guys can look i can extend this really quickly here and if we place a redstone torch it will deactivate that hopper right that we just placed into that chest now the reason we're placing these uh redstone torches here is because if you guys do see if we place an, any item into here it will deactivate this item hopper and make sure that nothing flows through until a detector is detecting the the item that we will be placing into our detecting system so there we go we're just going to go ahead and continue very very nice and simple guys now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to place another block above that like so like that and then you're going to place a redstone comparator into this little section right here so make sure that this one prong section of the redstone comparator is facing towards the front of our farm next step you guys are going to take a hopper and you're going to place it into the transparent block this will ensure that nothing is going to be passed through until uh, something is detected by this redstone comparator so if you guys can look here all the hoppers are basically facing into the same direction these ones are the only ones that are not facing into a chest and they will be facing into the transparent block on top of your farm next step you are going to extend uh, this area right here one block down and one block across and you are you're gonna extend this all the way through your farm and you guys are gonna place your very first redstone repeater on this level so this ensures that once a signal is detected it will power this block which will in turn turn off this redstone mechanism here which will let an item pass through so next step you're gonna take one block of emerald or whatever building block you have and you're gonna build across this so it'll basically close off this area and you're gonna build one block above the redstone repeater to have a little bit of a staircase area here now with this little staircase area all you have to do is place redstone like so and it'll basically connect all of the endings oops all of the endings on the redstone comparators which will make sure that they're all powered at the same exact time now for one of the most difficult portions not really difficult just a lot a little bit time consuming if you're playing on a survival world so if we want this chest right here to be our flower collection chest this is going to be our flower collection chest in our farm so this is our flower collection chest right here now what we're going to want to do is right above this hopper we're going to place a hopper going down and then uh for the rest of them we're going to place them going into that hopper right there so if you guys can look very very carefully this hopper is going to be facing down because this is where we want all the hoppers to end up in these chests right here so that one's going down and then all of these ones will be facing into uh, this hopper right here. So all of them will be facing to the left into that hopper. So there we go. This is our main re redstone mechanism. Now all we have to do is finish up the setup for everything else, the detection system. So in this hopper right here, right next to this redstone comparator, nothing will be in this hopper. This will be your dump slash miscellaneous item hopper and that means that any item will go through into the bottom chest there but for these rest of these other chests we need to set up a detection system and the reason or the the, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to get like a stack of iron ingots doesn't really matter and you're going to get some sort of item i'm just going to use redstone because i do happen to have it in my inventory so we're going to go ahead now to set up the redstone mechanism to the detection system for this item sorter all you have to do is place four items like so and then place at least uh, 16 or 12 items 12 to 16 items in one of the slots so we're going to go ahead and complete this for the rest of them nice quick and simple doesn't take too long and uh this basically is going to make your detection system very quick very simple um and re really really nice and easy and this will make sure that the only items that will flow through into the bottom chest adjacent to these hoppers right here will be um will be obviously the iron ingots because that is the item that we are filtering out in the spot right here so this is how very nice and quick and simple you guys can probably make this in less than half an hour especially since you guys do have access to warp shop and you guys can basically build anything that you want so there we go there we have it that is our full-on detection system and now how do we know it works 
Let's go ahead and grab uh, poppies. And let's just grab a whole bunch of poppies. Uh, we'll put a stack of poppies, a stack of redstone, and then two stacks of iron ingots. Now, what this does is it's going to filter through here. Excuse me, I shouldn't have put redstone. Uh, let me let me change that really quickly because I should not have put redstone in there. That should have been. Oh God, I messed up the system already. All right, hold on. Let me let me let me take back everything really quickly so then uh, we can. Uh, Go ahead and continue with this farm. I messed up right away, right off the bat right there. All right, let's set up this system again. So redstone and then iron ingots on here. Let me check through all these mechanisms. Make sure there's only one. Go ahead and take a quick peek through all of them again. So there we go. They're all set up. And here's some poppies already starting to go. All right, so let's try this again. So once again... Let's go ahead and put, uh, let's say, emerald blocks, iron ingots, poppies, uh, iron ingots, and a hopper. So it's going to slowly sort through everything. Did I not set this up? All right, I did set that up properly. So what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to detect that an item is it placed into there. Am I? I might be doing something wrong. Hmm. Is this on the right way? I might have turned this. This actually might be going this way. There we go. All right, there we go. I turn. Make sure you guys turn your comparators around. I, I faced them the wrong way. Make sure your double prong is facing into the hoppers like that. So now what happens is the items will obviously get funneled from the item hopper into, and it'll slowly pass through these the, the sorting system all the way down the line until it gets into the junk chest. So obviously here there's nothing as it is passing down. And it is passing through here, but this system right here will be your detecting sh detection system. Very, very nice and simple. It'll make sure that only the iron ingots are going to be passing through this little item hopper. I forgot. Did I not set these up right here? Maybe they got bugged after I switched the little system, but no problem. Let's go ahead and set these back up. Boom and boom. All right, there we go. So we set those back up. As you guys can see, if we probably check in here, here is our junk chest, all of our poppies and all of our uh, emerald blocks that we placed into that beginning hopper ended up in our junk chest hopper here. And then if we take a quick peek, uh, these this probably messed up from when it wasn't set up. But as you guys can see in the first chest, we could probably run this again just to show you guys that it does work. Let's go ahead and head back on up here. So let's sort out ironing, it's emerald blocks, hoppers, and poppies. So it'll slowly start to go through that mechanism again. And obviously the iron ingots will start to be collected here. And then if we take a quick peek down at the very end, all of our junk items are going to start appearing here. So this is our sorting system, guys. It's very nice, very simple. If you guys want to learn how to make it uh, and you guys missed a part, just make sure you rewind the video. But we're going to add a little bit of an addition to this farm, guys. I'm gonna, I added this to my own personal farm. And this is because I hate destroying poppies by myself. So this is how you're going to do it. So if you guys do have... Or if this is your bottom section of your farm, right? So this is the hopper chest, or this is the junk chest, the items that you do not want. Now, what you guys are going to want to do to make an automatic hop poppy destroyer is you guys are going to need another hopper set, like so. And then you're going to need a dispenser this time. So now, what you're going to do is um, below, or so we're going to place two random blocks here just for uh, marking out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place a hopper into this block and a hopper into that hopper. So what, what it's going to do is all the items in here are going to slowly be funneled into this uh, hopper system down here. So now what you're going to do after that is you're going to place a dispenser facing upwards right here. So if you guys are looking with my farm, it'll be directly underneath this redstone torch. Now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to place two hoppers facing into that dispenser which will mean that this junk hopper here will slowly start to uh, funnel all the items into this dispenser like so. Now all you want to do is you want to place some type of block so uh, we're going to use emeralds again we're going to place it above those two hoppers so nothing gets into there. Just fill up this little hole that we made here. And we're going to block off this little system that we made right here. So now in this section on the opposite side of this dispenser system, you're going to place a random block two blocks away from it. You're going to place a hopper and then another hopper like so. So if you guys take a quick peek back, these two hoppers are facing into each other. And now what you're going to want to do is place any item into that hopper. And now what that does is it will take these items and continuously go back and forth, back and forth. And what that will do 
Actually, I might have messed up. I need to add a redstone signal right here. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat that uh, hopper system like so. Make them face into each other and then put any item into there. So what that'll do, I think, will power this. Wait, maybe I use redstone? Am I doing this right? I can't, I can't remember. I made this two days ago. We're trying to just remember off the top of our head. All right, let's see if that powers it. All right, it's going back and forth. It is not powering this dispenser for some weird reason. What do I use? Maybe it's a comparator? There you go. So put a comparator right next to this opposite side. As you guys can see, it is slowly starting to dispense all of those items. So we're going to go ahead and cover up the rest of these blocks like so. So you guys will have a little bit of a ticking sound, but you guys will get used to it. And then all you're going to want to do is place a lava bucket right here right on top of the dispenser and that will obviously destroy the items that is my automatic poppy destroyer all the poppies that you ever place into here or whatever item will slowly get funneled down and then get dispensed into the lava it does get quite an uh, annoying with the sound but you guys will get used to it and it obviously saves you a lot of time so once again thank you guys for watching this tutorial hopefully you guys learned something new you guys will be basically making this farm as as big as you want as wide as you want and if you guys do know Know that all the basic um, hopper system will kind of just extend from here as the very very bottom of the iron golem farm is just going to extend all the way out like so all the way out into infinity so thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys learned something new i hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tutorial hopefully i see these in any future iron golem raids that i do have thank you for watching as always make sure you guys like comment and subscribe this is d field and we will see you guys later